Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the use of atomic number Z in math equations in chemistry string theory. Okay, so just a refresher, uh, atomic number Z is also equal to the number of protons. So if I have a helium atom, I know that it has two protons, it's the second element on the periodic table, and so it has atomic number two. So uh, the atomic number doesn't show up in that many uh, math formulas or equations, but it has a couple. Um, so up here, uh, this is a formula used to determine the electron's energy at a certain radius. And so we can see atomic number Z is right there. And then this formula is used to determine the electron's speed at any radius. So Z is right there. Uh, but in general, it's not used that much to determine uh, anything involving math formulas, it's really more of a way of telling kind of the identity of a certain element. All right, and so now getting into string theory, there is no such thing as chemistry string theory, there's just the physics string theory, no chemists really work on it. It's a very, very uh, theoretical, physical, physics-oriented topic. Um, and in a very, very simplified and butchering sentence, I'll uh, describe it to you guys. So it's basically saying uh, that uh, matter can sometimes exist as both a particle and a wave. And so if you kind of imagine a guitar string plucking, that produces a certain vibration at a certain wavelength at a certain frequency. And it's kind of the idea of exploring uh, what if the whole universe is a bunch of different waves at different frequencies and a bunch of vibrations instead of thinking of it if instead of thinking of them as particles um, so yeah that's <laughs> string theory in a nutshell um, and it's really not super closely related to the atomic number of atoms so I'm Robin Higgins and this has been the use of atomic number Z in math equations in chemistry string theory Thank you.